Hello, I'm Tracy Herlitsky, Director of the Wisconsin Safe and Healthy Schools Center. I'm coming to you from CESA 4 in West Salem. Providing a summary of the Wisconsin Safe and Healthy Schools Center activities for 2015-2016. Our vision is every child safe, healthy, and connected. We provide training and technical assistance on alcohol, tobacco, and other drugs, bullying prevention, mental health and suicide prevention, and school safety. Some of our 2015-2016 accomplishments include providing over 20 professional development events throughout the state on a variety of topics ranging from mental health to mindfulness, suicide prevention, prescription drug abuse prevention, school safety, and school spurt or screening, brief intervention, and referral to treatment. This year, we developed and conducted an online AODA basic course with 53 participants from 34 school districts. We held 11 prepare workshops and two regional emergency management trainings. 712 students, staff, and community members were trained in QPR, question, persuade, and refer suicide prevention training. We had 6,500 visitors to our website as well as 4,300 readers of our monthly newsletter. As far as quality control goes, 99.6% of participants strongly agreed or agreed that our training met their needs and they will use strategies presented to have a positive impact on student learning. 99.2% would recommend the training to others. This is a map of what those 170 school districts and 56 organizations look like for 2015-2016. This is what it looks like for the last four years that the Wisconsin Safe and Healthy School Center has been in existence. I'm amazed by our reach. This is what our funding looked like for 15-16. We had about $1.2 million. 350,000 came from DPI base grant funding, 400,000 from emergency management, 423,000 from school mental health contract, 5,000 to provide tobacco prevention, 57,000 in supplemental uh, funds from the DPI to provide resources and materials needed to do our training to schools. And then we made just around $22,000 in revenue. This is significantly more money than we have had in the past due to the flowing through of the federal grants that our Department of Public Instruction had for this year. Some of those grants will continue for next year, uh, it, but it will be less due to the sunsetting of the emergency management grant. We will have some carryover of funds to spend for next year, but then it will be done. Next year, we're also going to be offering some purchase services to school districts for 16 and 17. We are continuing to build our capacity to do so and grow the center. This is what our needs assessment looks like for 2016. We conducted an online survey in February and March of 2016. We had 521 responses. Overall top needs changed slightly from previous years. Helping students with mental health issues, internet safety, and emerging drug trends remain top needs. Mindfulness practices for students and staff moved from number seven in 2015 to number two in 2016. Trauma-sensitive schools also moved into the top 10, nudging school spurt to number 11 for the statewide results. The top 10 remains relatively stable when you look at the results by CESA region. We have planned our training calendar and work plan based on these results. One of the challenges we face is the canceling of workshops. I think this is pretty common in the CESA world. Anytime we have to do this, it's not the best use of our time and resources. 
you can see from the line that it's kind of gone up and down over the past four years. But definitely something that we're trying to address and offering more online or blended courses. Another challenge are statewide logistics for offering 20 trainings, such as delivering of books and materials, weather, and of course travel falls into this category. Time. This year, uh, due to the school mental health contract coming in September, after all WISH Center staff had filled up our contract time in days, um, made it really hard for us to get all the deliverables done um, when things are added on late in the year. It's really about timing. As well as, I think, travel falls into this category for us uh, because it takes up so much of our time. Uh, it really is a financial and physical toll on our project that travel in large regions and throughout the state. One thing that the WISH Center has joked about is hiring a helicopter and a pilot to, to take us where we need to go. So if anybody has any connections, please let me know and we could really use them. And then finally, what we really need is sustainable long-term funding. So we can spend less energy and less anxiety about having a job and more on the important work that we provide for schools. Here's our team of regional coordinators. Carol Zabel is on the West Coast out of CESA 10. Lynn Verage covers the Northern region out of CESA 9. Jackie Sheening covers CESA 6 and then the Southern part of the state. Christine Kleiman covers the East Coast out of CESA 7. Thank you and feel free to contact me at therlitsky at cesa4.org if you have any questions.